Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial, we're going to check out a few more list of methods and the first method that we're going to have a look at is the insert method and uh, this method is used to insert an element in a list at a given index position, right? So in the last tutorial, we checked out the append function and uh, we learned that the append function can only be used to insert an element at the end of a list. You know, the insert method with it, you can insert an element anywhere you want in your list, right? So let's create a list first as we did in the last tutorial and again, I'll call it my list and uh, I'll use square brackets and I'll again put in some numbers in it. So four comma one comma nine and uh, three and I'll have a seven and a two in it and I'll press the enter key to create my list. And let's say I want to insert the number six between the number seven and two, right? So I'll have to first identify the index of the position wherein I wish to insert an element. So, you know, we know that the first element in a list has the index zero. So four has the index zero, one has the index one, nine has the index two, and three has the index uh, three, seven has the index four. And if you want to insert an element after seven, then the index position of that element will be five, right? So what I'll have to do is type in my list, the name of my list, follow that up with a dot and then insert, right? And uh, after typing in the name of my function, I'll put in a pair of parentheses. And the first argument that the function takes is the index position. So I'll have to type in five first put a comma and then the second argument has to be the element that you wish to insert. So let's say I want to put number six, I'll type in six is the second argument. I'll press the enter key. And now if I have a look at my lists content, I see that there is a six between seven and two, right? So that's it about the insert function. The next function that we're going to have a look at is the remove function, which is used to remove an element from a list. And it only removes one instance and the first instance, I suppose. So, you know, if suppose you want to ins uh, remove the number nine from the list and you have nine a few times, like you have nine here and then you have nine after six and then you have another nine after two maybe. So you know, the remove function only removes the first instance of the number or the element, right? So to use it, you type in the name of your uh, list. And uh, in this case, it's my list, follow that up with a dot, type in remove and within parentheses, pass the element that you wish to remove from the list. So I'll type in nine here. And uh, now when I check out the contents of my list, I see four, one, three, seven, six, two, and the number nine is no longer there, right? The next function that we're going to have a look at is the reverse method. And uh, this method reverses the current order of elements in a list. So it does a very simple job. And uh, if I use it with the, the list, my list, I'll have to type in my list dot reverse and uh, follow that up with a pair of empty parentheses. I'll press the enter key. And when I check out the contents of my list, I see that the elements are the same, but they are in the reverse order. So earlier I had four, one, three, seven, six, two. Now I have two, six, seven, three, one, four, right? So it is a very convenient function and you might find it useful in certain situations. And the last function that we're going to check out is the sort function, which uh, organizes the elements of your list in ascending order by default, right? So if I wish to sort the elements of my list, my list, I'll type in my list dot sort and follow that up with a pair of empty parentheses, press the enter key. And now when I check out uh, the contents of my list, I, I see one, two, three, four, six, seven. So the elements have been arranged in ascending order, right? So that's it about list functions. And uh, these were all the functions that I wanted to discuss in this course. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, some tuple functions. And I hope you guys had fun watching this uh, tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.